Major Emilio Suazo, E M I L I O S U A Z O, Executive Officer for the 2nd Battalion, T 22nd Field Artillery Battalion. So the Family Day is usually an annual occurrence, uh, however, COVID uh, stopped that last year. So we were excited to get families and friends and community members back out this year. Excited by the turnout, we expected maybe two to three hundred, and already it looks like four to five hundred. So double the amount of people that we expected. So this is a great opportunity to give friends and family uh, the, the chance to see what we do uh, in the field. That's exactly it. There have been soldiers in their entire career, and their families have never had the opportunity to see what they do. Uh, so the feedback that we get from family members that participate in an event like this is always positive. Uh, it gives them a better understanding not only of family members but of community members as well exactly what the soldiers do uh, on the weekends or during their annual training throughout the year. So today we're here to witness a two-gun fire mission. It's a raid mission so they'll have two paladins which are howitzer self-propelled uh, cannons. They'll roll up the road and fire two rounds on a, ra a raid mission and then they'll quickly transition into an at-my command mission, which right now you can't see them, but somewhere alone and unafraid, there are fire support uh, team out there. They're observing targets and calling those target uh, locations to our FTC, Fire Direction Center. The Fire Direction Center then takes that information, processes it, processes it, and sends it to the guns for immediate execution. In, in some cases, with the rounds that we have now, we have the ability to get rounds on target a lot uh, faster. So that may come with uh, precision guided munitions, so GPS munitions that we have the ability to uh, to use. Otherwise, you're exactly right, we would get as close as we can and then walk onto the target uh, through adjustments. So this weapon system has the ability to shoot direct fire, which can be anywhere from you know, very close to 30 kilometers away. So about yeah, 10 to 15 kilometers away. Correct, yeah, you, can't, you, you won't be able to see. Absolutely, which is the best of both worlds. We get uh, training in, uh, culminate the training today, uh, which has been gone, going on all week, and for the family members and friends. Yes, it's uh, Staff Sergeant Cass Espel. It's K A S S E S P L I N. So, this is our uh, family day for uh, the 222nd Field Artillery Battalion, uh, where we're headquartered out of Cedar City, Utah. Um, and our family, like, that's the most important thing that we have as soldiers. They're, extremely supportive uh, to us. Um, I'm not married or anything, but like my, my sisters and their kids are here today to, to you know, to, to see what we do. Uh, they've been super helpful to me I, in all of my training events, deployments, um, they, they do a lot, a lot for me. And uh, same with my parents, they're actually home right now watching my dog. So, uh, and, uh, and my dad, you know, he was, he was in the military for, for many years. He, uh, he was actually the battalion commander for the Second, when I first joined the guard, so he, he got to be my battalion commander for, for a while, and now he's filling the, the family role and uh, helping take care of me. Now. Well, I would say a good majority of our unit is from Southern Utah, uh, so we we tend to to fill fill the unit from those down there. So, so like there there are definitely uh, others from from all around the state, uh, you know different different parts. Um, especially as you promote, you tend to you tend to move to different units, so we, we do have quite a few from uh, the northern part of the state as well. Uh, so we're just going to do a live fire event uh, to show the families uh, what, what we're doing. So they're going to shoot shoot a few rounds from our uh, howitzers and uh, you know give them a, you know, a good showing of uh, what we do as a field artillery battalion. Our, our drill schedule, it just depends on uh, the, the time of the year, um, but our, basically from October into the, the summer months when we come and do these these live fire events, uh, you're, you're doing your crew drills, you're preparing for, for these events uh, so that when you come out and do this you're safe uh, and effective. And especially for our, for our gun crews, it's definitely physical. So I mean these rounds are uh, 95 plus pounds a piece and so when you're when you're shooting a bunch of them it gets uh, it's taxing so you, you definitely have to be in good physical condition to, to do this and then uh, for especially our FTC crews it's 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 a uh, a lot of mental work, especially if you're doing a manual gunnery. Um, there's there's math involved that's, that can be pretty pretty tricky. So there's you, you have to be prepared and stay on top of that stuff to to uh, be good at this this job. So, I mean, like having good leaders, being able to like switch out sometimes. I mean, you do get burned out. You get you get tired. Um, deployments. I mean, like if I had like a hard day, luckily by my last deployment, you know, in the era of cell phones. 
we could we could call home. Uh, and that was awesome. So currently, right now, I am a uh, human resources in So I, you know, help take care of the people. Yeah, so, if you have a good crew, you, you can just within seconds of, of one round going out, you can have another. So. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Clayton Anderson, the current battalion commander of the 2nd of the 222nd Field Artillery Battalion, along with Command Sergeant Major Mike Sherritt. We wanted to give thanks to everybody who's been able to keep the memory of the 213th uh, Field Artillery Battalion, keep their memory alive, their, their legends to us. We want to thank the people of Korea who have erected monuments in memory of the battalion and for all that they do for us they will forever be a proud part of our battalion's heritage and history. Thank you.